Manchester United, Leicester City away at the King Power Stadium for Manchester United. Uh, difficult game in prospect for Manchester United because you just do not know what you're going to get from Leicester City at this moment in time. Some weeks like obviously drew with Liverpool at, at Anfield just recently and before that they've beaten Chelsea and Man City in recent weeks but they also lose to Newport so you just don't know what we're going to get from, from Leicester City at all at this moment in time. Manchester United have also drawn this week just gone against Burnley so Manchester United have got to get back to winning ways in this game. We're still unbeaten in competitive games under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, but we've got to be getting back to winning ways in this game. We've got a lifeline with Chelsea losing in the week against Bournemouth 4-0, but Arsenal beat Cardiff. So Manchester United are two points adrift off both of them teams, plus the, obviously the goal difference, so effectively three points. So going into this game, Arsenal are playing Man City, and I think Chelsea are playing Man City up next or, or very soon after. So... We've got to be winning these next two games against Leicester and Fulham to stand any chance of making that top four because when the other teams are playing each other, playing big tests, that and they might possibly slip up. Manchester United have got to take advantage of that again. Now, a lot of people were disappointed with the team selection for that game against Burnley, but that was Burnley at home. and You'd expect Manchester United, with the team they put out, to go out there and beat that Burnley team. It wasn't to be. Manchester United played poor. And we were 2-0 down at one stage and somehow managed to claw out a draw. I'm not too sure how we actually managed that. It was a bit, a bit tight there at the end. But the draw could be vital, as I did say in the review after that game. That point could be absolutely crucial for Manchester United in getting in the Champions League places. Now, he has got to shuffle the pack for this game again. Because he obviously shuffled the pack for that game being a midweek game. And we've got so many players that need to play minutes. So I can understand why he's done that. Obviously, Martial was out injured, so he couldn't play him. So he's got to test out which players are not good enough for Manchester United, which players are good enough, and which players he wants to clear out. Obviously, this week, it looks like, as as doing this video, it looks like Fellaini is off to China. As soon as the Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is coming to Manchester United, he's made a stance that Fellaini is not in his plans and must have made it pretty damn clear to Fellaini that he's not in his plans for, for the rest of the season because it, he's been quick out the door, Fellaini, the first one out. Now, other players probably are more deserving of leaving Manchester United. The likes of Valencia, Darmian are not good enough either. And Fellaini was an OK option at times off the substitutes bench. But Manchester United have got a richest of attacking options, so we don't need that sort of player. And it just epitomises what the last few years of Manchester United have been. Having a dope up there up front that's just not good enough for Manchester United. Not good enough in midfield or, or just lumping balls forward to the big man. Manchester United do not want to be playing like that. Now... It's good news, obviously, that Martial has also signed a new contract for Manchester United on top of what Scott McTominay did last week last week or whatever it was. So a couple of players have signed new deals. And going into this game, maybe there are some, some injury concerns to deal with. Paul Pogba picking up a knock, apparently. Martial, we don't know what's happening with him, so we will have to wait and see there. May have to shuffle the pack a bit again for Manchester United, but De Gea will be in goal, probably... It will be Ashley Young and Luke Shaw as the full-backs. I would go for Bay and Lindelof at the centre-halves. Jones just shouldn't be playing for Manchester United regularly. We need to get Bay up to form, playing consistently and hoping hope to see, see the better of him. I'm hoping that Pogba's fit so we can play Pogba, Matic and Herrera in midfield. That is definitely the best midfield three that Manchester United have got. Rashford will be through the middle. Jesse Lingard out on one side and it will probably be Alexis Sanchez out on the other hand side if Martial isn't fit enough to play this game. Hopefully he's at least fit enough to be on the substitutes bench because he would offer us a lot more going forward than one matter probably did did in the other game. And a lot of people are saying, which probably I agree with, he doesn't sit, suit the system of what Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has tried to play. And he's always played out in that wide wide area. He's looking to come inside. For me, he's not a, never been a wide man. And I don't know why he's ended up getting shot out wide to accommodate him into the team. Much better in the middle, number 10 sort of position, attacking midfield sort of position, would be where Moa Massa should be playing if he plays for Manchester United. But a, a nice bloke, great servant to Manchester United, but will be needed to be moved on in the summer. So roughly that sort of style line up. But if Paul Pogba's out, then we will have to shuffle the pack a bit in that midfield. And I'm not too sure who he's going to go with in midfield because Pereira didn't really... Put himself in any glory 
Corey himself in any glory in that, in that game against Burnley. It wasn't his best of games. And he could be another player that's moved on in the summer, getting very little game time, was given a chance to impress and didn't impress. With Matic, Pogba and Herrera all impressing in recent weeks, it does make it harder for players when they get into the team and start games like Pereira did in that game, which was one of his... I mean, he did play against Reading, but he has had limited starts this season. When he's given the opportunity, he's got to take it for Manchester United. Now, obviously, we have got other options in, in the midfield. We've got Fred, who maybe should have played in that game instead of Pereira, but it's just just hindsight, so a wonderful thing. Maybe he could come into the team if Paul Pogba isn't fit enough. I believe Angel Gomez is injured, so he couldn't even come into the midfield, who would probably be another option I would go go with at some point in later in the season if we do get any injuries. But he seems to have been shut out wide areas when he's played for Manchester United as well, but I think he could do a job in that midfield, maybe complement some of the midfielders. Uh, very, very worth giving the opportunity because he is a great footballer, Angel Gomez. But we've got, I mean, we're going to have a, a, a load of attacking options again, probably on the substitute bench. It's going to be interesting to see who misses out in the squad because obviously one matter could be on the substitute bench. You've got Lukaku there as well, depending on whether Pogba and Marshall actually play in this game. So it will be interesting to see. And, and I, I, I mean, I don't expect any of the youth players to get given a chance in this game against Leicester as they're... As, the under-23s are real thin on the ground at the moment. have got very limited options and so, and they're going to have to play in them games. I mean, they've got a game, game on Friday night and they're going to have to play pretty much their strongest lineup because they've only got about 15 players that are fit at this moment in time. So they, they would be we would be stupid to shoehorn any players in, the likes of Jimmy Garner, into the team if we do get any, any injuries. It would be stupid to shoehorn any of them sort of players chong into the, into the squad for this game for them just to sit in the stands, not even make the actual match day night 18 man squad. It would be stupid for that. So it will be a, a, an experienced team, but we do have big games coming up on the horizon. There are players that Manchester United have got to be fearful of going into this, into this game. Obviously, Jamie Vardy is the main man for Leicester City, but they've been so inconsistent, really. You just don't know what you're going to get from Leicester City at this moment in time. Obviously, Harry Maguire got a goal against Liverpool in the week. He doesn't get too many goals, but he's come, come into, the, into, the, into the fold again. I think he was injured a couple of weeks ago, but, but a decent centre-half there. But it's, it's going to be a difficult game for Manchester United. It's not easy going to the King Power Stadium. I do think Manchester United are going to have to battle hard to win this game. But I'm going to put my neck on the line and go Manchester United winning this game two goals to one. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What sort of lineup would you go for? Who do you think should start the game? Substitutes option wise, if we've got Pogba and Marshall out injured, who would you replace them with in the starting lineup? Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll talk to you all again soon.